Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to find the latitude and longitude for addresses in Airtable using Google Maps API via Data Fetcher. And this will all be done without using code. So when we arrive onto our Airtable base, we'd like to create an output table. So we really need this table to be called location. So up here we can retitle table one just simply to location. Nice. Then we'd like to add a field called address. So here you can just add this to the first column. And with this field, we'd like it to be a single line text so that you can leave the same. Then add all of the addresses that you'd like to include in this here. So once you've added your addresses that you'd like to know the latitude and longitude for, then we'll move on to the next step. Now, you'll need to open up your views option just over here so you can draw that out. We already have grid view, so we will need to create a new grid view in the locations table called needs coordinates. So if you simply come down here, click on the plus sign for the grid view, and we're going to title this needs coordinates. Nice. We create that grid view simply by clicking on that blue button. We can then include the filters. So you can see we are now on this option for it. If you go up to the bars at the top, you'll see the filter. Click on the filter and you do want to add the condition address fields is not empty. And that is all the conditions that you need to set for now. Then you can click off that. As you can see, this is now highlighted. Now it's time to get our Google Maps geocoding API key. So we do need to use the Google Maps platform APIs. So you need to set up a Google Cloud project. So in order to do that, we actually do have the link already in the video description here. So you can click on that link and you'll be brought to the following page. Here we will need to create a new project. So simply click on the big blue button. This will open up to the Google Cloud platform. So when we arrive onto this page, we can give ourselves the project name. So I'm going to title it demo, nice and simple. So after you've titled that with your project name, then you can leave the location as it is, no organization, and simply select create. Now that you have your project set up, we need to return to the link that is in this video where we just came from to create the new project, that Google Maps platform link. Scroll down to enable billing. You will need to do this. So if you simply click on that next big blue button, nice and easy, follow it through to the Google Cloud platform that it brings you to again. And this is where you can set up your account. So as you can see, we have our demo project here that we can click on and it will load up for us. And now we have to link a billing account. So simply click on the blue button and select create billing account if you haven't already done this before. And now you'll be asked to fill in your information. Amazing. So now that you have linked your billing account, you will be able to have access to your API. You have had to add this information because Google API keys are paid for, but you do have this free trial for 90 days. And after that, you do have to give permission for the payment to go through to your card. So then once you've done that, you can go ahead back to that link again, where we created the new project and we got our billing page from. And here we'll see the enable APIs where you can select enable the distance matrix API. And this will load up to the following page where you can double check that you have that information selected for the project that you have just created so that it is the right one before you select manage for your API keys. So you'll be brought to the following page. And if you're looking for your API key, you can simply select the credentials tab here. And just below, you'll see that maps API key that you can copy the request for. So now that you know where to find your Maps API key, we can leave this tab open and come back to it in a moment. We're going back to our Airtable base now, and we are going to add the Data Fetcher app. So over to the right hand side, you'll see the apps option here where you can select add an app and then search for Data Fetcher, nice and simple. Here you can select add and click on the add app. Amazing. So now you'll be either prompted to create a free data fetcher account or you can simply select continue with Google. Here you can import your data by selecting on the create your first request button and we can title this request 
fetch latitude and longitude for addresses. So once you have that title in, you can search for the application Google Maps. And now we'll need to add that API key that we've already created. So you can go back to the tab that you have that in, copy it over and paste it back into the API key input box. For the endpoint, we'd like to choose geocode find latitude or longitude from address and then simply select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Fantastic. So now you'll see that we have to add the address section. We have already done this, however, in the fields that we've already created. So over to the right hand side, you'll see a plus symbol. And here you can select location for the table and for the field address. And immediately this will bring in those addresses that you've already inputted into your table. And all you need to check now is that it says needs coordinates under the run for every record in view and then simply select confirm. So a lot of this will happen automatically. For example, the output table and view should automatically have the information location and needs coordinates, but just check that you have that there and then simply select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Great, now we're brought to the response field mapping and this allows us to bring in the different fields that we'd like to see in our air table. So you can turn these fields on and off simply by switching the toggle from green to gray or you can click on filter all to turn them all off. Now what we'd like to search for is the latitude, just turn that toggle on and also the longitude. And that is all the fields that we'd like to bring through. So simply select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And now those are being created and we can select show output table. Fantastic. So now that we've come through to the following page, you can see that the latitude and longitude of the two addresses have automatically been imported. So hopefully today you have learned how to find the latitude and longitude for addresses in Airtable using Google Maps API via Data Fetcher. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at Data Fetcher, where we also have a full length blog on this exact topic in detail. So you can check that out as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.